Hey, Miles here, socialadclass.com. Now this video reveals the three pieces to the Facebook ads puzzle. If you're missing one of these three things, your Facebook ads simply won't work. And when you get all three of these things working together, that is how you find scale within Facebook ads. Let's jump right in. And number one is targeting, okay? This is all about who you are talking to with your ads, okay? Who you are getting your ads in front of. Now they say that the money is in the list and this is a variation on that. Now there's a big difference in the value of different audiences. So your customer list, I don't know if you have a customer list, but if you do, if you've got a thousand customers and you upload that list to Facebook and you present those people who have already purchased from you, they already trust you, they already know you, they already like you. And if you present them with a new offer, their likelihood of converting is much higher because they've had an experience purchasing from you before versus if you just go in and target some random interest and you find people who have never heard of you before, okay? So now those are the two extremes and there's a whole middle section. You can always upload your email list. You can run lookalike audiences. You can do interest audiences. You can do retargeting audiences. But the key to think about is the audiences that you're targeting are really one of the most important parts because if they're not interested in what you've got, the odds of you getting them to take an action are quite slim. And that brings us to number two, the advertisement itself. Okay, now at its simplest form, a Facebook ad is really quite simple. There's text above, there's an image or a video, there's a little bit of text below, and then there's a call to action, okay? So these are some very, very simple components, but the complexity and the challenge lies in what words are actually going to compel your people into action? And sometimes the action is just to engage in the early phases of a properly set up and a properly strategically run Facebook ad campaign. You might just want an engagement at first, but then when you want to get them to take an action like leave Facebook and go to your opt-in page or leave Facebook to go uh, opt-in for your webinar registration, the copy on that ad, the copy or what you say in that video is oh so important. And this is why copywriting is such a key to Facebook ads, right? Facebook ads is just traffic. Your ability to convert that traffic, that's really one of the keys to the game. And then the last piece, okay, part three to the little triad of things you need to get dialed in for successful Facebook ads is the actual offer itself, okay? This is the thing that you're promoting. Now, this could be a free thing if it's your lead magnet, but it also could be a paid thing as well. And the offer really is comprised of multiple components. So there's the thing itself, okay, the free ebook that reveals blah, 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 the, the free webinar, that's one of the things, or $1,000 a month for one-on-one -on -one coaching. That is also an offer. But then there's the words, okay? The actual words. Again, we're right back to copywriting. The sales copy that you have, whether you're using a text sales letter, a video sales letter, a webinar, whatever it is, the words that you use to communicate the offer are huge. Because if somebody wants what you have, but you're not really compelling them, you're not talking about the benefits, you're not talking about what's in it for them, they're gonna tune you out. Or if you sound hypey, or if you sound over the top, or if you just don't sound like you're you're trustworthy or believable, or you don't sound like you can help them with that problem, you're going to lose them. And then the last component of that is the sales process. Now the sales process is really important to think about because the sales process for a $3,000 per month coaching program is gonna be much different than a sales process for a $27 downloadable product. And what I mean by this is a $27 downloadable product, you could probably very well sell that with a written text sales letter. You could probably sell that with a video sales letter. You could probably do an opt-in to a video sales letter and build out what I call the ATM accelerator funnel. So that's one way of selling a $27 product, but you're probably not gonna have a a sales letter with a button for a $3,000 per month coaching program. A coaching program like that is going to probably be sold over the phone. So what you would do is you probably have them opt in for a free book. And then at the end of the book, you would call them to action to join your webinar. That would be step two. At the end of the webinar, you could then offer them the ability to get on a phone call with you for a strategy session. And then it's on the phone call that you would go ahead and close that kind of a offer. Okay. So these, all three of these pieces are what really make up your offer. The thing itself, how it's communicated and the actual sales process, they all have to be dialed in. And as you can see, there's a lot of moving parts to the game of Facebook ads, which is why I've created and launched the socialadclass.com. Right now, there's a free video that actually goes in. It's the most up-to-date free 
Facebook Ads Training available today. I just launched it in mid-October, and it really shows the three keys that you need to dial in in order to truly scale ads on Facebook right now. If you're interested, go check it out at socialadclass.com. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, get at me in the comments. I appreciate the engagements, I appreciate the shares, and I appreciate you. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until we meet again, be well.